<laughs> okay. Um, so if you don't keep up with me on the Musk Bird app, uh, I just got back from Texas. Uh, I was visiting my girlfriend and I spent about two weeks there, and just a few days into my trip, wouldn't you know it, Daviri came out. So obviously I didn't really have a lot of time to delve into the update around that period, so it's been like, I don't know, like a week and a half since it released? Uh, not sure, but who cares. Daviri is a bit of an interesting update for me because I actually don't know too much about it. I unconsciously missed a lot of the streams and reveals related to it. Uh, so for example, a dev stream would happen and then I'd miss it and then I'd be like, oh, I should go back and watch that Warframe influencer. And then I just never did. <laughs> so I've kind of been in the dark about it uh, outside of very obvious tidbits due to either osmosis or just really old info. Like, I know it's mainly focused on the Drifter, I know there's horses, I know there's worms, but yeah, uh, similar to the new war, this is going to be a cut of all of my raw first impressions and whatever unfunnies I spout out of my mouth. You'll have to forgive me, I'm still battling jet lag from being several thousand feet up in the sky within a very loud tin can. Shoutouts to Texas, by the way, uh, just as hot as Florida, but with more aggressive drivers and somehow no truck nuts. Uh, I didn't see a single pair anywhere, which really caught me off guard because Texas, but eh. The Devere Paradox has arrived. Devere is here, precisely where and when has been hard to pinpoint, but Drifter's time in Devere is finally becoming clear. Start the Devere Paradox quest and experience a never-ending spiral of life, death, and rebirth at the hand of Dominus Thrax. Okay, this is a lot. Um, <laughs> I was gonna read through all of this. Uh. I don't think that's a good idea anymore. Thank you for returning to me, Operator. Eh, go fuck yourself, Ordis. Oh, my balls! Also gonna put up the audio bit, just in case there's, you know, good music or anything like that. Oh, what do we have here? Naughty, naughty, Ordis. You know you aren't allowed to speak. By the way, D, don't think I forgot about you fucking up my igloo, by the way. I probably, I don't know if I pointed this out in a video, but shortly after I finished this, uh, a bunch of holes appeared in it, and I refused to fix them. So if you're watching, Rebecca, please fix my igloo. Thank you. <laughs> At least my eye buddy is still up there. Hi, buddy. <laughs> okay, here we are. Oh, what are you? Oh, you look like a fucking Payday 2 mask. Off we go. Oh, I saw this. I swear that thing is just long horse. Look at it, it's just fucking Longhorse! <laughs> I like the idea that the Drifter is just being attacked by an invisible force like fucking... <laughs> like, like Patrick from Spongebob. No! No mercy! <laughs> I fucking hurt my... <laughs> oh, I peeked the mic, I'm so sorry. Oh, I hurt my fucking nose. <laughs> I'm going to try that. I'm going to try that, and if that doesn't fucking work, we're gonna have a problem. If you get that feeling, you're stuck. Spinning inside your little wheel. Only to find. Yeah, isn't. Isn't there gonna be a hand here? It is! Mommy hand! <laughs> this I do remember. How could I not? Oh god, my cosmetics are all fucking wrong. Oh, I get it. Literal hand holding. What are you doing? <laughs> you think you're in 2014, my guy? Oh. Port. Is that bracket? Wait, what do you mean bracket? What the fuck? Why is it on bracket? Okay, no, space does the same thing, but what was. Yeah, what's that? You know what? I'm not gonna question it. I'll fix it later. Oh, hang on. It's not important. Oh, fuck off! Bombastine? I am the Bombastine. Oh, wow, I pronounced it right. Lucinia? Lucinia. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my kingdom for a fucking cosmetic change. I do not know what I did with my fucking drifter, but something has gone wrong. Huh? A callback. I found you, faker! <laughs> faker? You're the only fake hedgehog I see around here. Oh no! Intrinsics again! <laughs> it has your scent. Mm, smelly boy. Yeah. 
How many fucking times have I done this now? Um, there's no lucky here. I can't pick any of these. Is this real? Oh. <laughs> Sorry for trying to kill your fucking rabbit. Okay, is there anywhere I can change my fucking cosmetics? Because this is awful. I don't know, that kind of looks like a mirror. Oh, it is. <laughs> Please? Ah, oh, thank Christ. I'm sorry, your rabbit thing is fucking ugly. <laughs> Granted, I'm not one to talk. <laughs> I am Teshin, and this is, well, it was you that named her. <laughs> I'm going soul exclusively because, uh, hey, <laughs> guilty gee. <laughs> oh. Ah, dual katanas, finally. Wow, that's a fast charge attack. Damn. It looks a little bit silly, but what can you do? Ah, not this shit again. <laughs> oh, fuck. All right, day hit him off. Oh god, lock on. Oh god, that's so weird. Why is there fucking lock on? Okay. Wait, is that not a ranged attack? D, why does this look like a fucking like pocket sand attack? Oh. That's pretty cool. There's a little bit of a uh, polish problem. Wait, fly projectiles. <laughs> That's pretty fun, cool. Not gonna lie. I will say that there is a lack of polish. The um the lock on camera needs to be a little bit more. How do I explain this? The camera needs to be a little bit less tight. Like the camera is way too focused on the target. It could do with some maneuverability around the target, if that makes it like, I, like, I guess what I'll do is that I'll show a clip of um, Elden Ring and it's lock on. And yeah, in that game, the lock on is a lot more loose and the camera isn't as um, strict, I guess is the word, but I definitely see what they're going for. And it's honestly pretty fucking cool. Now here's the real question. Are there iframes? Enemies have special abilities that can be interrupted by using your quick shot when you see like attack. Wow, T really wants to have an in-depth system. Let me see something real quick. Uh, do that again. So he does vertical, vertical. Can you jump this? You can. Oh, there's iframes on the roll. Dark Souls. <laughs> Choose. Oh God. This shit again. <laughs> Eh, I'm a basic bitch. I'm gonna go scale. But why the fuck do I have to choose? What is Teshin gonna do with the other two? Oh, are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> what do you mean? I've been playing this game for how fucking long? Ten years? Oh my god. I didn't even need a bullet jump there or an aim glide. Wait, wait, wait. Let's see if I can get across this without what they using what they want me to. Yeah. <laughs> Wall dash? No, I don't think I will. I always thought this was funny about Warframe. Uh, if you jump, the uh, enemy accuracy is made really, really, really shit. So unless you're really close to an enemy, they will usually just miss. I just found that really funny because if you're just running around, it's not it, its not nearly the same. You see, I'm still getting hit. I know this is like probably really obvious information to a lot of people, but when you're new, it becomes very apparent just how easy jumping can allow you to, to avoid bullets. Obviously, it's not 100%, but still. Select a secondary weapon. Ak, Vasto, Hirana, Lex. That was a really random selection of uh, secondaries, so it's making me wonder, are those random? Did everyone get those same uh, secondary choices? The Boltor, the Ticker. Okay, no, this isn't random. That's... I would have gotten a Prime by now, right? Man, you have to take the fucking Boltor. Classic, dude. Nothing against Tigris enjoyers. I just really like the old school Boltor when I'm playing, uh, you know, <laughs> low level missions. You know, sometimes it feels good to go back to like very low level Warframe and just watch the weapons perform. <laughs> like, where the fuck did he go? <laughs> you're no Tenno, but I have seen worse. Oh, yeah, you're no Tenno. I've seen better. <laughs> Ten years of experience. Fuck you. <laughs> Teshin, where did Fulton Mag go? Teshin? Oh. Look around. Yeah, I mean, it's a cave. Hello? 
Traverse of the Undercroft. Eh? This is so fucking weird. But like, in a good way. <laughs> Every second you are moving, gain 100% or 10% damage. It stacks to 100%. Stacks steadily decay while you are stationary. Well, that just sounds fucking great. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> Even in melee attacks where you're stationary, as long as you're holding a uh, a movement button, <laughs> the bonus increases. Even though you're not actually moving, that's funny. <laughs> So I kind of see what they're doing with Duviri's uh, loop. It's bouncing between Drifter Combat on the surface and, uh, thank you, and Warframe Combat here. So it kind of gives a taste of everything. I kind of like that. Purge the darkened areas of Luminous? Uh, uh, please. <laughs> Oh god, I didn't know that was a whole fuck! See you again. A Harbinger of Joy. Something that I find interesting is that you seem to be able to roll out of any part of your attack animation, but you can't seem to block to cancel an attack if you want. I would really like to be able to cancel the startup of my attack into a block. It would just you know, feel a little bit more smooth, but eh, it's not that big of a deal, but it is something that would make combat feel a little bit better. In we go! God, what is this fucking No Man's Sky looking ass planet? Ugh. Oh no, <laughs> not fucking excavators. Ugh. Glad that's over with. <laughs> what in the fuck? What is this MMO ass quest that I'm being sent on? And what the fuck is the TAM? Oh god, what are you? You're a meat sheep! Go back to the fucking pen, I hate it. Please. Please. Why? Just go into the pen! <laughs> yes, please get into the pen. Oh dear Christ in heaven, I'm so glad that you could just go through the walls. I knew I saw you. I knew I fucking heard you. Get in there! Back to the Undercroft. I gotta be honest, I'm, I want to play more with the Drifter combat. And while I do definitely want to go into more Warframe combat, like, later, I do wish I had more time with the Drifter. Maybe that's just me, though. Why not have a go at this royal maze? <laughs> I hate mazes! This better be like Babby's first maze, otherwise I am not gonna be goddamn happy. There, I conquered the maze. Please. <laughs> Digital extremes! Oh, it's green! Ah, <laughs> <Farewell>. no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck no! I don't want to do defense. There's five waves? Oh, I'm pissed. People might be like, oh, why do you not like defense? And it's mainly just because I don't, I'm not really good at optimizing defense waves. So for me, defense tends to take longer than usual. I'm just not good at optimizing them. Oh yeah, and also you have this problem where, you know, enemies will, because of your abilities or because their AI bugs out, they'll like hang out away from you and uh, slow down the rounds even more. Especially like dickheads like this. It's just like, oh, run away, run away, slow the mission as much as possible. No. Oh. <laughs> I don't like your inflection. <laughs> yeah, alright. See you, dude. I'm back, Dad. What you got for me? Didn't see it coming, did you? Oh, suffering. <laughs> Uh, elderly abuse. Ah! <laughs> Zoomer abuse. <laughs> and I'm back. I'm gonna stab this fucking rabbit, dude. What 
the fuck? You cannot be allowed to live. <laughs> it wasn't even a fight! Tashin, so Worm battle? <laughs> I'm gonna do something very funny to this tower. Um, hello? Uh, focus, please? <laughs> oh, this is what it's like when I don't have my fucking glasses on. Oh, and that was it. Well, I do know that I'm missing a number of things. I know that I'm missing aura worm battles, and I know I'm missing things like the circuit. And even at the start, when we logged in, it was saying how there's like three new game modes and things like that. So, I'm actually going to try to get to those before ending the video. Uh, just to see what they're like, uh, get my thoughts on it, and then we'll end the video there. Oh, shit. Barrage, Titania, or Wukong. And yeah, I don't have Titania Prime, don't make fun of me for it! I just never got around to it. Well, uh, I guess I'll pick Mirage. I guess I'm ready. In I go. This is actually pretty cool, uh, giving people a way to experience weapons that they may not have. Uh, because, yeah, I don't have this fucking gun. Um, I know that for a fact. And it's very, very cool that the game is like, hey, you can try this if you want. And yeah, I don't really have anything funny to say. It's just a really cool feature. <laughs> I'm scared of mazes. I... I don't even remember how I did the last one. What? What? How? I didn't stop shit. I went around in a circle. Ugh, please no defense. 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 Please no. Ah! <laughs> Did you just fucking judgment cut me? Is that what I just saw? This is very interesting. Having like these side objectives you can do to also get decrees and uh, and like uh, intrinsics for your drifter, that's really fucking nice. I really do like that because it means that you don't have to, if you don't, if you really don't want to, you don't have to grind these stage missions where you have like multiple stages and you go into the undercroft and overworld over and over and over. So. Very, very nice. Appreciated. Oh, God. I got a fucking wombo'd. That's alright, I can just roll on your cog and get my HP back, idiot. Summon Aura Worm. Okay, so that's how you do it. Okay, well, you're not really giving me instructions, game, but... So, first idea. Run up to it, throw a ring at its head, see what happens. Alright, well, uh... I have learned that death is very easily achieved against this fucking worm. Oh god! Oh god, I didn't see it against the background! Oh fuck! Yeah, I don't like that. Oh god, it still hit me! Oh, I wonder if I can just throw the Orbeus at it. Can I literally just throw a fucking disc at it? Oh my god. <laughs> I'm coming for you, dickhead. Oh god, what the fuck? Okay, so getting in front of it seemed like a really bad idea. Oh god. Oh god, what the fuck? Oh fuck! <laughs> ah. What? What? Wait, wait, how do I move? <gasps> Please come back, worm. Oh, is this how you do it? I don't know if this is right, but I'm doing it. I'm becoming a fucking mind parasite? Pog. Oh, you're large. You're a long horse. Oh, I realized I have just made a crucial mistake in my weapon choice. Uh, my shotgun cannot really reach. Oh, that's great. Oh, that's lovely. <laughs> 
Oh, okay. Ah, back up again. I would really like that Imperator again, please. Oh, praise be Mirage buffs. Yeah, you're dead. Say bitch. Ooh, 10 Pathos Clamps. Oh, yes, I'm going to buy some fucking control modules for 57 of a resource that I only have 41 of after like three or four hours of play. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna do that. Yeah, I'll get right fucking on that. <laughs> okay, let's see what the circuit is about. Uh, hi! Okay, so a bit of a weird cutoff here, I know. A uh, reason being that, uh, I was a massive dumbass, and instead of hitting the button to record circuit gameplay, I instead hit the button that turned on replay buffering, aka shadow play, aka my computer was only saving the last five or so minutes of gameplay. So, circuit footage is gone, but if I'm completely honest with you, uh, it's not that big of a loss because it was kind of boring to watch anyways. I mean, I love Circuit and we'll get to that in a bit, but at the end of the day, it is still comprised of typical Warframe missions, so whatever, not that big of a loss. But something bigger to note, a small little extra thing here, um, it's actually been a couple of days now, about three or so, and I now have a much bigger grasp on what most of the update has to offer, so I think I'll wrap up with a brief recap of my opinion on the update. But otherwise, uh, video's over, so don't let me keep you. Like seriously, I'm just gonna be running B-roll and talking, so if you want to take your leave, go on ahead. But put simply, I think this has been a pretty damn solid update outside of the bugs. So here we go. Daveri as a new area is a perfect example of less is more. There's no new town, there's not seven different NPCs that you have to talk to, and there's no new faction that you have to rank up in. Thank fuck and thank you DE. All that stuff was just a ton of fluff that could be cut out, and I'm glad they did because that helps Daviri in the long run. And the update is pretty damn good at respecting your time in general. It forces you to leave after a full Daviri cycle and doesn't lead you on longer than necessary, and in Steel Path Circuit, levels scale so goddamn fast that you can practically hear the game tapping its foot waiting for you to get the hell out of its house. I also really appreciate how Daviri doesn't lock you out of gaining certain world materials just because the time of day or weather is incorrect. So yeah, it really feels like this update respects your time more than certain other expansions that we've had. <laughs> I don't want them. New Drifter gameplay I've already talked about, but to recap, I really do respect what they've been going for here, but the lack of polish on it is evident. But a bigger problem is that the depth also just kind of falls apart once you get certain decrees like Shockwave, Double Hit, Double Crit Damage, and so on. Speaking of, decrees are really fun, but the Drifter possibilities for them uh, felt a little bit limited. Like, I basically always go down the exact same melee-oriented path when it comes to Drifter. But in Circuit, it's different. Like, depending on my frame, I might opt to go for melee decrees first, or I might just ignore them entirely. Or if I happen to get a really good status weapon, Cedo, my beloved, I might opt for status boosting decrees primarily. So I do hope we get more decrees in the future because there is potential for loads of fun here. Aura Worms are kind Kind of a mixed bag. I like the gameplay that you go through to defeat one, especially on Steel Path, but I was kind of disappointed that they're all fought basically exactly the same, with no real difference in steps. And there's not really much reward in killing one either, though to be fair, the reward that you do get is used in plenty of cases. So now, let's move on to Circuit, because this is now one of, if not my most favorite game mode. Going through a quick taste test of various different mission types with the decree system and randomly selected loadouts, should not be this fun, but damn do I enjoy it more than I thought I would. I like how it gives players a taste of weapons that they may not have, and can even inadvertently encourage leveling weapons or frames that they do have. Seriously, as someone who tends to not really care about their MR or ranking it, I've unintentionally leveled about two or three weapons so far I otherwise hadn't touched. And then, there's Steel Path Circuit. Okay, so I've always had this mindset in Warframe where all of my load mode outs would be focused on pumping my abilities rather than my survivability. Or in other words, I rarely use things like adaptation, rolling guard, etc. even 
dependent on notoriously squishy frames. And you know, folk would often ask me why, and I usually respond, I don't need them for the content that I play, because I almost never get to the level ranges where they'd be warranted. Well, Steel Circuit has officially slapped me across the face because god damn does it throw you into the thick of things, and really quickly too. Levels in Steel Circuit scale extremely fast, and it has forced me to essentially dedicate a build slot in all of my frames exclusively to be able to survive in this mode past the 30 minute mark. It's given me a chance to experience a set of Warframe that I never really bothered to touch because, I mean, there was just no reason to go this high levels. The circuits aren't just fun, but rewarding too. Normal circuit grants players a different way of attaining certain frames, which is fantastic for newbies, but also great for vets who are still looking to flesh out their a flesh wall, and in Steel Path, you instead get Incardon forms of old school weaponry. And speaking as a crusty old timer, I love these. Incardon Genocide, Genesis is whatever, inject me with that sweet, sweet nostalgia. And they give more purpose to old weapons in a way that is far more interesting than simply buffing them. I have used the Boltor for the first time in years and I love its Incarnon. They, they have even gotten me to use the fucking Ceramic Dagger, a weapon that I am reasonably confident had fewer users than I have limbs. These things are some of my favorite additions to the game in years, and having just gotten the Toxicus Incarnon, I, I can tell you right now, I will be very mad if we don't get more of these consistently. So D. I await the day you give me ones for the Acrid, the Heat slash Dark Sword, and yes, even the Stug. I'll be waiting. Now, Circuit isn't perfect. I've ran into some softlock bugs. Uh, the default loadouts on certain things are uh, questionable, even if they're intended to be mid-tier builds. And I think this is more of a me problem, but I feel like I should mention it anyways. As of this video, Teshin's Cave will always default to primes over base frames. A and I mean always. So say you have a base vault who is rank 30 and has seven forma on them as well as a potato. Now let's say that you also have a newly acquired vault prime who hasn't been ranked or modded and has zero forma and zero potato. Uh, uh, Teshin's Cave will always give you that prime even though it is objectively worse. Or let's take a more French case. See, I'm a founder and as such, I have access to Excalibur Prime. But I also have Umbra, who I have sunk way more time and resources into. In fact, it has been so long since I played Excal Prime that I don't even have a mod loadout for his Exalted Blade. Since remember, we used to not be able to mod Exalted Weapons. Do you want to know how I found this out? Because Teshin, at one point, looked me dead in the eyes and offered me Excal Prime instead of my Umbra. Here, take it, he said with a shit-eating grin on his face. A and like a fool, I picked him, hit my 4 button, saw that I was doing about 16 damage, and they got stomped into the dirt. So I feel like there should be a toggle for you to choose between your frame variants just to avoid this sort of situation. Though with that said, this problem did actually get me to level a number of primes that I had been putting off for months, so... Maybe it's a good thing? Being unable to adjust your loadouts is also a problem, as is not being able to change your focus school. Now, I do understand why. Like, it's probably because Teshin's Cave isn't classified as a hub, but rather a mission zone and the game just can't make alterations in a mission zone. But at the very least, there should at least be a display on the star chart showing you what equipment is available to you so that you can make adjustments on your ship without first having to enter the cave. And that's about it. Again, trying to keep this short as possible, so no big sign off here. Uh, that's all. It's like four in the morning. So I'm gonna go cradle my Toxicus Incarnon to sleep now. <sighs> Bye.